The Northern Alberta Institute of Technology presents Recommended Practices, a series of practical welding tapes produced by the welding program at NATE. Five welding processes are presented on the videotapes. Oxycetylene gas welding and cutting, gas tungsten arc welding, gas metal arc welding, flux cord arc welding, and shielded metal arc welding. The primary objective of the presentation is to assist the student in reaching an acceptable level of welding skill with these processes. The presentation of each welding process is divided into two parts. Part 1 is illustrated theory. Part 2 is practical applications. Part 1 will introduce you to personal protection, welding process equipment, filler metals, techniques and materials as applicable to each process. References are the American Welding Society Welding Handbook Volume 2 and the ASM Handbook Welding, Brazing and Soldering Volume 6. Both are internationally accepted authorities. In addition, this project draws from the collective knowledge and experience of 32 welding instructors. Part 2 covers types of filler metals and materials, tacking and positioning of coupons, the required number and application of passes, and the finished acceptable wells. The practical application may include presentations on bar stock, plate, and pipe. The demonstrations are presented by professional journeyman welders who represent training from various provinces across Canada using current industrial equipment and filler metals from a number of suppliers. The type and number of demonstrations with these processes meet and exceed the requirements of the province of Alberta, apprenticeship and training standards, and other international standards. This presentation of recommended practices in welding may be of great interest and use to welding students, post-secondary institutions and colleges with welding training programs, secondary school welding programs, welding companies, tradesmen wishing to upgrade, and other individuals looking to gain some degree of proficiency for related work or hobbies like metal arts and vehicle restoration. The following is a typical presentation of the theory and practical portions of the OxyFuel welding video. The primary reaction is the burning of the premixed oxygen and the acetylene from the torch, producing a cone. The byproduct of the primary reaction is carbon monoxide and hydrogen. These gases are superheated and burn when combined with oxygen from the air producing the secondary reaction, the visible envelope. The byproducts of the secondary reaction are carbon dioxide gas and water vapor. Prepare the edges and the face of the beveled surface by grinding back to clean metal. Place the coupons in the flat position on two fire bricks about waist high. Space a gap of 1 8 inch between them with the axis of the well oriented away from you. The choice of the tip will be determined by the following. The tip must produce sufficient heat to maintain the puddle in the joint from the root to the cap pass. With a neutral flame, preheat the joint surfaces and the tip of the filler rod to a dull red color. Dip the tip of the rod into the flux pot to flux coat the rod. Tack the ends of the joint and deposit the root pass. Watch the puddle. It must fuse with the sides of the joint. Add flux to maintain a clear puddle. The need for the addition of flux will decrease as the joint fills because of the residual flux from the previous passes. Keep the flame moving over the puddle, the rod, and the sides of the joint. This will help maintain the size of the puddle. Do not add a cold rod to the puddle. This may cause hard brittle spots in the joint.
The formation of white spots and gas bubbles are a signal that more flux is required. Stirring the tip of the rod in the puddle will help remove any lodged impurities, help maintain fusion with groove faces, and preheat the rod for melting. After depositing the cap pass, a quick melting of the surface will allow smoothing the edges of the cap into the plate. The finished weld will contain no faults at all.